So this is one of our uh, management strategies here. By the front door, I have a little fence. And so we set this fence up last night because Margaret started barking a little bit at noises in the hallway. So we're gonna nip that in the bud. We're not gonna let her even have access to the front door area. And in addition to that, I'm going to be keeping white noise running continuously until I feel like she's just calmed down a little bit and gotten more comfortable. I don't want her being hyper vigilant all the time. So that's going to be my front door strategy until further notice. Margaret eating her dinner in a blanket and I actually have a separate YouTube video for how to turn a blanket into a DIY slow feeder and the reason I'm doing this is because she doesn't like to be left alone when she knows other people are in the apartment if she's totally home alone it's fine but she needs to learn that while she's eating I'm just gonna shut that door just for a few seconds and then I open it back up. And provided that she's not staring at me when I open it back up, that means we're good to go. And I'm gonna do it again, just for a couple seconds in the beginning. I don't want her to get suspicious that I'm gonna lock her in. So ultimately my goal is feed her in there, in the bedroom, shut the door, walk away, do my thing. Even when she's done eating, she can just hang out in there and be calm, knowing that I'm somewhere on the other side of the door, but she can't get at me. So this is our first car ride together without my husband to help. And we're a few days in now. This is Beans in her Pup Saver uh, car seat, which is great. I highly recommend it. And then this is Margaret in kind of a makeshift uh, car seat because I have to get her a legit one. And I'm using a big cardboard box to divide them in the back seat right now. Um, the seats are flipped all the way back, so they're actually on the floor of the back seat. And so far so good, no drama outside of the first like 10 seconds or so. Um, and so now we're gonna finish our trip. Here's a few more tips for days three through 10. First, expose your dog to new things gradually. Go at your dog's pace and please don't overwhelm him. 
Also continue to manage. As you've seen, a lot of what I'm doing really falls under the management category, not so much training. Continue adding structure so that your dog can learn the rules, but remember to do this gently and without confrontation. You can also start to add in a little training where it seems necessary for your dog, but don't go crazy with the training just yet. That's gonna come next. And remember, your dog is still overwhelmed. This is possibly the biggest transition of his life. And so you really wanna make sure he's comfortable and feeling safe more than anything else. Check out my next video, which will show you days 11 through 30 next.